see how just flex TV. You know, see them are watching a 4K and a 3D. You know it good, you know. Girl, I watch you like cinema, watch you like cinema. Yes, so blessings, blessings, my people, blessings to each and every one. Just a check in, come give you guys Jamaica morning news roundup for December 29, 2022. First time over, just Bex TV, press subscribe button, notification bell, so you never miss another update. For those going out on the road, whether you're working or hustling, just let the Almighty be praised now, because I'm a Lent in our days now. Anyway, we're not even going to go back, we're going to kickstart where a fisherman found dead on beach. So a fisherman identified as Rowan Rose, better known as Chicken, found uh, dead in Portmore St. Catherine sometime after 3 p.m. on Tuesday. Right, my people? So, man alias Chicken, right, is a fisherman and uh, this man found dead on a beach. Yeah, my condolences goes out, but I prefer you to stick to the chicken, you know, trust me. And uh, you know what the hottest thing? I don't get any new update on this incident. Aside, so I cannot tell you guys what's the really cost of this man dead. But anyway, we are moving on to where a three-year-old killed as Metal Gate falls on him. So a three-year-old boy who attended a family wedding with his mother was killed on Tuesday morning when a Metal Gate in the family yard fell on him at New Market Oval in Savannah Lamar, Westmoreland. So the deceased boy, Liam Williams, is said to have wandered outside the yard when the ball with which he was playing went outside the gate. Trust me, star, this sad. This sad brother. So peeps, look at your screen. This is the metal gate that took the life of Liam. Right, my people, and condolences goes out to family, friends, and loved ones of uh, this little boy. Well, yeah, hear me, peeps. Trust me. So imagine you went to a wedding with your local, your local cousin, and it just sad that. Hey, yeah, hear me. Make a move on, yeah, man. So 475 road fatalities recorded up to December 27. So with only a few days left before the new year, Jamaica has recorded nearly 500 road deaths for 2022. So over the Christmas holiday weekend, nine people lost their lives to road crashes. To get more on this update, I can just run go over to CBM television at Google. Yes, my people. Your site. But anyway, peeps, condolences goes out, you know, to... Family and friends of the 475 deceased. Your sight, trust me. And the year not finished yet. So, my people, just be careful and let's take our time. So, we just have to move on to where Walter House, promising midfielder Devante Walker, slapped with several charges. Right, so Walker is accused of stealing a teammate's check and forcing him at gunpoint to make false report to the club's administration. Well, this Walter O's promising midfielder, eh? Him not promising at all. Not a promising because me just a say, oh me and you for play upon a team. Me I get pay, you I get pay. Well, your pay not enough. You say you want my pay. So you go, you go find a gun, juke me now, and I go tell me, say, me if you go tell lie. Tell lie for please you. So me if you play football for free. And every time my check comes, so you can go around your local friend them now. And tell them, say, oh, me a ball all right now, me a badness. Yes, you say your badness day everywhere. Badness day everywhere. Badness day in a sport. <laughs> you hear me music. Right, I'm not church. Moving on, people. So we are Mason charge following robbery of 4,000 Jamaican dollars in St. Anne. So I sent Andrew, you know, Mason has been charged with robbery, with aggravation and possession of a prohibited weapon following an incident in Ocharaya Center on November 22. So he is 45-year-old Steve Johnson, otherwise called Mikey of Seaview Gardens, Kingston Level. The Ocharaya police say about 11.40 p.m. Johnson and another man allegedly held up the complainant on Milford Road and robbed him of 4,000 Jamaican dollars. Right now, this amazing, I forget, 40 year. 40 year, and the footballer, him forget 20 year. Because me, just as I said right now, where Jamaica come to? Man left from where Kingston gonna sent and gonna rob 4,000 dollars? Move on! So, measures put in place to protect human rights in state of emergency strong. So, Minister of National Security, 
Dr. Oris Chang says all measures have been put in place to ensure human rights are not violated in states of emergency. So while speaking at yesterday's press briefing at the office of the Prime Minister, he says officers rely on intelligence to carry out their operations. Well, to get more on this, you can just go over to Nationwide at Google. Well, peeps, a fuck. Come from your youth ago, me study that. Say police work with information. You say it once them come in your community. If your name not call, them no business video. But if them get a look, click, 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 them are come find you. You say it. So that's a fuck. But me just <laughs> worried about the innocence all the way. Moving on to where Siaga supports minimum wage increase. So I trade unions. Recent call for an increase in the national minimum wage from 9,000 Jamaican dollars per week to $15,000 is justified but could result in job losses. So, private sector organization of Jamaica President Mitre Siaga has warned. However, he has argued that the labor force can generally do more to make it harder for employers to cut their jobs even if the economy tightens. Right, and this is a good talk and a good take. You know, trust me, star. We should best say, you know, the lower class people. So we just move on to where St. Elizabeth farmers flock stores for animal feed. So scores of poultry and livestock farmers flocked farm stores in St. Elizabeth yesterday morning hoping to secure feeds for their animals, which they say are on the verge of dying from starvation. So farmers across the country have since last week been calling for the authorities to address the inadequate supply of animal feed. So our new center spoke with some of the farmers in St. Elizabeth who were displeased with the number of bags of feed they were able to purchase yesterday morning. A rice me affair cook get a fall in from yesterday. One bag of feed can last no time, complain a poultry farmer who said she had been waiting at the farm store since 5 a.m. Right, so one of the country's two major producers of animal feed, IPRO, has reacted to the shortage, stating that the tightness in the market was due to a short-lived disruption in its supply chain resulting from global logistic challenges. So IPRO says that the disruption was rectified last week. It says it is in full production and has to put measures in place to ensure it can meet the demand for animal feed. Right, my people, just me style. So we just have to just try and move over here to local sport news. We are Pele nears one month in hospital with no sign of improvement. So one of Pele's daughters said Wednesday she and her family are enduring moments of sadness and despair as the 82-year-old Brazilian football great hospitalization nears one month. The three-time World Cup winners cancer as advanced and doctors at Albert Einstein Hospital recently said is under elevated care related to kidney and cardiac dysfunctions. Right, and to get more, yes, on Pele. And his health, you can just go over to the Jamaica Gleaner, right, my people? And we just have to just move over now to our next update where reggae dancers color cars for Sting to come to a permanent end. So University of the West Indies professor and reggae dancers color Dana P. Hope has called on the organizers of Sting Supreme Promotions to put a permanent closure to the event. She described the event as an existential crisis. Her comments came after the premature ending to Sting 2022 following the issues that plague the event. So Professor Hope made reference to the Amari and Queenie showdown which ended up being the trending topic from the event, noting that it was a sign that Sting has completely lost its identity, meaning and purpose. Right, my people, trust me, star, and if you feel like what this female saying is right, you can just share your comment in the section below. Right, my people, I just hope you guys, you know, stay safe. Trust me, I you know so we have a couple more days left, you know, to end this year. I'm moving over to 2023. But you know, so just bless, give thanks, you know, to all you guys for your continuous support. Too thick, too thin, you know. My have to stick up in. Hey, <laughs> so peeps, I don't know the whole thing, you know, I just blessing. You hear that and we now do no more talking. So peace, we out, without a doubt, east, west. The north and the south. Up top.
And them for no side, Jai Meds, representing for Just Blex. Just Blex tell them some prior words. When the heat ends, I try for you. Was he a dire hurt? The most I alert. If I'm them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blex, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?